Where is she? The banquet is ready. I am sure she is on her way. Women, Rufio, bring round the horses. Welcome to Egypt. Am I late? No, you are just in time. So this ship then is Egypt? A meager morsel, you might say. Try the reed birds, Antony. And you came all this way just to offer me reed birds. I enjoy dining at sea, Antony. Don't you? I enjoy many things, but the sea is not one of them. So I am told. I understand that you enjoy music, wine, fighting, and women. Not always in that order. Pleasant diversions, no doubt. What are you driving at? Nothing. Oh, do try the peacock. It's stuffed with dormice, your favorite, I am told. When a woman says nothing, she means quite the opposite. You seem somehow wiser, more mature. Well, it has been three years since we last met. Three years can be a lifetime. <laughs> so I see you've learned something from Caesar. You talk like him. Caesar is dead. It's the future I think about. Come now. Let's not spoil this night reminiscing over things in the past. Have some Valerian wine. It's quite good. The last time you spoke, you told me you'd remember me always. Since that last night in Rome, I think about you almost every day. Almost every day. You flatter me. <laughs> well, almost every day. All this splendor, these people, it's confusing. Why didn't you send them away? Aren't you having a good time? There are other things we could be doing. Why, Antony, are you trying to seduce me? It is you who have seduced me, Cleopatra, I... Perhaps we should discuss that grain which Rome is in desperate need of. I hear the city is hungry. And Octavian, the most ravenous of all. His appetites differ from mine, yet they are no more compelling. I hunger too. should be yours. You have the East, you have all the power. There's only one thing I want. Only one. You are in a position to eliminate Lapidus and Octavian. Why wait? Yes. Why wait? Come back to Egypt with me. And together... Shh. No more talk. Antony, I... So it was that Antony sailed to Egypt with Cleopatra. In Rome, much had happened. Octavian, with the help of his trusted friend Agrippa, quietly moved Lepidus aside. Now only he and Antony had control of the empire. The city was in the throes of a famine and looked to Octavian to save them. Hello, Mother. What brings you out so early? Is Octavia with you? 
She's in the garden, mooning over the flowers, no doubt. Never mind her. I have brought a gripper with me. So I see. Don't be cheeky with me. I am still your mother. As you so often remind me of these days, ever since Antony left, you have been impossible. Let me buy you a big German slave. That ought to calm you down. I have enough slaves at home to keep me busy. Speaking of Antony, Agrippa has news. Tell me Antony is sober, and the grain ships are coming from Egypt, and I will be amazed. Well, it would seem he's sober, and he is definitely in Egypt, in more ways than one. It would seem, and yet... No, the beast has taken up where your uncle left off. He's in the bed of that triple turn at Hall. You really cared for Antony, didn't you? Why, mother, I had no idea that you... What do you know about women? We are losing control of Antony, you silly boy. Do something. Call him back to Rome. The city's behind Antony more with each passing day. They love him no matter what he does. I know. Antony is a god of wine and song. And I am just a man, one who cannot put food in their bellies, who leaves them starving at the gate. What do you suggest I do? Consolidate your power. Bring Antony. I was speaking to Agrippa. Atia is right. You must find a way to bring Antony under your thumb. Yes. That was just what I have been thinking about all morning. Some way to get Antony under control. To bring him closer to Rome. To us. To the family. Today I saw an old couple in the market. They were laughing. And as I passed by them in my litter, the old woman looked at her husband and touched his cheek. There was such love in her eyes that she seemed young and beautiful. Never as beautiful as you. I loved him, Antony. I loved Caesar deeply. But now I feel something different. It is pain, and it is joy, and it is a longing that can never be filled. And I feel it for you. I never would have expected. Then kiss me, kiss me a thousand times, and then lose them all, and start again. A thousand times and more. Oh, Antony, I think I shall die from it. <laughs> 